Hey guys, I'm Remington Ambassador Dustin Sanchez. In the past video, we talked about the basics that are needed for a successful range day. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about more of the gear that's needed to help you take a long range shot. So we're talking about 500, 700, 1,000 and pass. This is the gear that helps us get there. We're gonna do a kind of a little deeper dive into optics because that's a, a big transition here, right? So a lot of guys grow up running MOA, which is minute of angle. And a lot of people understand that by quarter, so it's easy for you to click. In long range shooting and even in hunting, moving over to an ILMRAD system where you're running mills and every click is a tenth makes things a lot easier, especially when you're looking at wind or you have a partner that's spotting for you. He can actually tell you like, hey, you're maybe an inch off and you know based on your optic that you can make a small little click. Also running a first focal plane versus a second focal plane is going to be very helpful. If you're not sure what that is, a first focal plane is when I'm looking at the reticle and I dial, the reticle is going to actually get bigger as I dial in. This allows me to know that my zero is always the same no matter where I'm at, whether I'm on like on this optic of four and a half or if I go all the way up to 27. A second focal plane, maybe something like uh, one to six, when you dial your reticle doesn't change, change the size. The reticle is perfectly fine, the second focal plane is perfectly fine. However, your zero is only going to be true at maybe the one power and the six power. Everywhere in between, your zero doesn't stay the same. So you may go out there and you may be taking a shot at a, a deer that's 300 yards away and you're running a second focal plane and you dial to maybe a four and a half and you don't hit the deer where you're looking for, it's because your zeros actually changed. So moving into something that's more ILMRAD, uh, possibly running a first focal plane is definitely gonna make your hunting or your range experience more successful. So you may be asking yourself now that we kind of dove deep into that, Really, why is it though, though that I want that first focal plane, right? Well, as a hunter, you always wanna know your zero's the same, right? So it doesn't matter what power you're at. You wanna make sure you're always zero to make sure you get a clean ethical kill. As a competitive shooter, maybe in three gun, or you're gonna just be shooting out to 100 yards, maybe 200 yards, a second focal plane is perfectly fine. It allows you to be able to move in and out really fast, but it also allows you to come down most of the time to a lower power on your optic, right? So that's where maybe a one to six comes in or even some of the three to nines, those work great. I would probably, for me, when I'm looking at it, I'd probably say that's really gonna be great just for a range experience, but as a competitive shooter wanting to shoot long range, or as a hunter, that first focal plane is gonna make sure you get a first round impact every time. Another thing that we're wanting to look into is binoculars. You need to have a really good set of binoculars to make sure you see your animal or the target you're looking for. Now, I'm more into the position with my Vortex razors here that I wanna be able to look through the same binoculars and range them at the same time. So I run a pair of range finding binoculars that's gonna give me all of my information right there so I can easily get that into my ballistic app. Another thing I like to run is a spotting scope. Now spotting scopes usually can give you a lot more power than your binoculars. So that way you're gonna be able to see the target a lot better. So if you're looking for wind, you can really see what that wind's doing, right? So if you've got a little bit of an eight mile per hour wind, that's gonna change what your projectile's doing and you need to either be able to put that into your ballistic app or make your change on your rifle. I hope you enjoyed this video on the deep dive into being a hunter or long range shooter and taking those long distance shots. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications and I'll see you guys at the range.